Hi everybody, Jessica here. My pronouns are she, her, and this class that we're about to go through today is uh, a quick 20 minute, um, gentle vinyasa hatha flow. So um, basically we're gonna be grounded for the whole practice. We're gonna be on hands and knees for the whole thing. Um, we'll come to a couple um, downward facing dogs and high planks, um, but aside from that, there will be no up and down. So a really great practice to work on the hips a little bit and work on upper body strength without really um, taking it too far. So if you have some props, we'll take two blocks here and maybe a blanket, um, and I'll see you on the mat in just a moment. Hi everybody. So. For today's class, we are going to start kneeling, so sitting back on our knees or our heels, and I'm going to show a supportive version um, to sit in that pose. We'll only be there for a couple of minutes, so we're just going to start our practice there and take a few breaths. Um, if you have any issues with the knees or um, the feet even, um, this is stretching the tops of the feet pretty intensely. So if you have any issues with that, just come to um, easy pose, sitting with the legs crossed or extended in front of you. Um, whatever is comfortable for you. So, <clears throat> in my body, uh, to come into a supportive version of this pose, I like to bring a blanket right up underneath um, the tops of my feet. Um, that helps relieve some of the pressure on the feet for me. Um, and then I also will scoot one or two blocks right up underneath my seat to sit back on. And this takes some tension out of the knees. So, find what works for you. Um, sometimes it feels nice to kind of roll up a towel or a blanket and bring it right behind the knees and sit back that way. So find your comfortable version of this posture. Sit up nice and tall. Close the eyes or soften the gaze. Allow the hands to rest on tops of the thighs here. And just start to focus in on that breath. Gently expanding the breath here, allowing the body to soften with the inhale and sink a little deeper towards the earth on the exhale. Take a few breaths together here, inhaling nice and deep and sighing it out. Very good. Two more times. Last one here. Very good. From here, we're gonna to start to lift up onto the knees nice and gently. If you have some props, let's just move them off to the side here. And we'll come down to tabletop position. So make your way down to hands and knees. So finding a nice neutral tabletop position. We'll stack the shoulders over the elbows, elbows over the wrists, and you can walk your hands forward a little bit if this is a lot on the wrists, just to kind of redistribute your weight a little bit here. Um, so from here, we're nice and neutral. Gaze is down. Bring your attention to the pelvis area. That should be neutral as well. So notice if it's kind of like tucked in a little bit or if you're like hyperextended out and the tailbone's tipped up a bit. Find a nice neutral between those two spaces. And we'll start with cat-cow. So on the inhale, drop that belly down. Chest comes forward, pull it through the shoulders. Gaze comes up. And exhale, tilt the pelvis down, round through the shoulder blades, chin to chest. Press the ground away. Inhale. And exhale, drawing that belly button back towards the spine. 
Couple more at your own pace. And as we warm up the spine and the upper body here, see if you can press a little deeper into your next cat. Really press the ground away. Almost think of your body lifting up towards the ceiling. And inhale, sink through. Keep the arms nice and strong. Very good. Coming back to a neutral space, we're gonna curl the toes under and exhale, come into downward facing dog. So taking your time, really pressing the ground away and shifting the weight back from the balls of the feet towards the heels, lower the head down, relax the neck. Two more breaths here, nice and intentional. Stretching into the hamstrings, maybe bending the knees if you like. And on your next inhale, let's start to shift the weight forward. Find a high plank here. And come back down to the knees nice and gently. And we'll find a quick little child's pose to take the knees wide. Press the hips back towards the heels. And extend through the palms here. You can sink the head down. Maybe it comes to the mat. Maybe it doesn't. Finding some space in the low back here. And inhale. Come back up through. Finding tabletop position. Redistributing the hands and the knees here. And we're going to inhale. Um, walking the hands over to the left side. And we're going to step the right foot up for a lunge. So taking your time here, taking an inhale to prepare, and exhale, swing that leg up forward, take your time, heel toeing it in place if it didn't quite make it on the journey. And you can use your blocks here to kind of frame the leg. And we're just gonna sit into this lunge a little bit. So finding where it's comfortable for you. If you're directly on top of the knee and that's not giving you any trouble, that's fine. But try pushing the hips forward just a little bit and coming almost to the top of the kneecap. That takes some pressure out of the knee most of the time and allows you to get into the hips with the stretch a little bit. So we'll just take a few breaths here, allowing the hips to be heavy, letting go. Support it through the hands or through your props and through the back leg. One more breath. Start to shift your hips back, coming out of this, bringing the hands back down to the ground, to the inside of that foot, and stepping the right foot back. Hands and knees once again, tabletop position. Inhale here, curl the toes under, and exhale, downward facing dog. Shifting that weight back towards the heels, dropping the head. Pressing the palms generously down into the mat, almost thinking of suctioning the palms here. And inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, come down to the knees again. And this time we're gonna walk the hands over to the right side. Take a big inhale to prepare. Exhale, left foot steps forward, find your lunge. And again, frame that leg, either with the hands down to the ground or using your props. <clears throat> and then remember about the other side, seeing if we can shift the hips open just a little more. And you might need to step that front foot up a little bit to create some extra space to come down. Soften the gaze. Come into that breath. One more breath here. Very good. Let's bring our hands down. So coming off of the props if we have them. Hands come to the inside. And step the left foot back. Inhale, tabletop position. Curl the toes under. You know where we're going already. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lifting up here. Hmm. Shake out the head. Soften the face. 
maybe bend through the knees here. Send the sits bones up towards the sky. Last breath here. You are doing amazing. And on the inhale, shift into that high plank and down onto the knees. Very good. Let's find another child's pose really quickly here. Take the knees nice and wide. Send the hips back towards the heels and extend through the palms. Again, maybe forehead comes down. Maybe forehead comes to the forearms that are stacked in front of you. Last breath here. And inhale, start to come back to our tabletop position. Bring the knees in together a little bit here. Plant the hands down. Uh, make sure that your props are accessible towards the back of your mat. So if you have a block or two, just um, set them back for yourself. And we're gonna curl the toes under, take an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, lifting up. Dropping the head down. Allowing your strength to carry you. Feeling the muscles in the biceps and the triceps fire up here. Feeling the lengthening in the calves and the hamstrings. Bend the knees, walk the feet wide. Toes pointed out slightly and start to walk the hands back towards the feet. We're gonna find a wide squat here. So sitting the hips down as much as you can, hands come to heart center, elbows rest in between the knees. And if you'd like, which option I will take today, bring a block right up underneath the sits bones. You can even use two blocks. And this helps, again, take some of the tension out of the knees, out of the hips here, while still getting the intensity from the stretch. Closing the eyes, softening the gaze. Allowing that breath, that beautiful life force to course through you with intention. Close the eyes and follow the breath as it illuminates your body and expands the body. And the release on the exhale, the surrender back to the ground. Last breath here. Inhale, blink the eyes open. We'll bring the hands down to the ground. Send the hips up. So we're kind of in a wide-legged forward fold here. And from here, we're gonna walk the hands back to downward facing dog. So bending into the knees, pressing the hands into the mat, stepping the feet together. And finding this posture, old friend, we're here again. Maybe send one heel down and then the other heel down, finding a little movement. Muscles are all warm and fired up here. Notice the ease that they move with now. Notice how fluid the backs of the legs feel compared to just a few moments ago. And inhale, shift the weight forward, high plank. Exhale, coming down onto the knees. And then from here, we'll come onto our back. So taking your time. Again, finding your prop here. So reaching for a block or a blanket. Soles of the feet are gonna stay planted into the ground here. And then let's walk the heels a little bit closer to the body. So bring the hands down, palms down, arms down along your sides. And on the inhale, we're gonna find bridge pose. So lifting the hips up, pressing into the feet, thinking of squeezing the thighs together and maybe coming on to the shoulders here. So pressing down into the palms and the backs of the arms, 
squeezing the glutes, lifting up as high as you can, relaxing the face, relaxing the neck, finding that breath. Holding on for one more moment, one more breath. Ah, and then here, if you have your block handy, grab it and slide it right underneath the hips, right under the sacral area. And we'll gently, slowly start to release down onto the block. So coming into bridge and then lowering down into a supported version of bridge here. And we'll just take a moment. Maybe you take the feet wide and you gently sway the knees from side to side if that feels good. Or maybe you extend the legs long and open the arms up and that puts a lot of pressure on the sacral area. So if you like that sensation, maybe you hang out here. Wherever you choose to be, just to let your body hang, let go. Feel the support of the earth below you, whatever props you're using. And notice that support is all around you in unconventional ways, in conventional ways, on and off the mat, in our life, in our work, in our relationships, in our passions. There is always something there to support us and it's up for us, it's up to us to really take advantage of that, to identify that, and to support ourselves, to take that support. There's nothing wrong with it. So taking just a few more breaths here. And we'll slowly start to come off of our prop here. So if your feet are extended, let's bring them back down to the ground, lift up onto the shoulder blades, remove the block. Oh yes, and then sink the hips back down. I love the feeling of coming out of that posture on a block and then kind of feeling just the free, free and open space in my low back when I come back onto the ground. All right, so hanging out here, just gonna sway the knees to one side. Let them hang out for a couple of breaths. Maybe bring the hands to the body here. Just really connecting, feeling the energy of your life force right below your fingertips. Just taking a moment to honor this miraculous body. We'll bring the knees back to center here, and we'll find that on the other side. Taking your time, going to the outside of one foot and the inside of the other. Fingertips on the body, elbows rest down. Finding your way back to center here, nice and slow. And we'll find our final Shavasana. So you can stay here, or you can slide the feet away. Taking the space that you need, finding the comfort that you need. And allowing for the last couple of minutes of our practice, allowing the breath to move freely without any control, naturally as it does. Allow the brain, the mind to kind of roam freely at this moment and explore any internal thoughts or ideas. Soften the face, relax the tongue at the bottom of your mouth.
we've reached the end of our practice today. I want to thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time on the mat.